Any possibility of evacuating her? Well, that wouldn't be any fun. And for the next two months, winds make it impossible to fly anything in or out. Could be appendicitis or a gallstone. Or a kidney stone. That wouldn't be any fun. If it's appendicitis down there, her appendix ruptures, she dies, there's nothing we can do. If it's a stone, she takes pain meds, stone passes, there's nothing we need to do. Could be a struvite kidney stone. Most kidney stones are calcium and benign. Why would you suspect a struvite stone? Because he said kidney stones were boring. It's possible. She's on birth control. Lots of sex could lead to urinary tract infection, which could lead to an infection laced through by kidney stone. Excessive Antarctic drilling. Bad for the environment and the ladies. If it's a struvite stone, she needs to break it up quickly before the infection shuts down her kidneys. This is where it gets fun. These are the supplies and medications she has available. Nothing here that could break up a kidney stone. What else do they have down there? I just said. I don't mean medical stuff, other stuff. Some geological equipment breaks ice and rock the same way we break kidney stones. Uh, Discovery Channel. I like watching them blow stuff up. Who doesn't? That reminds me. If sound waves from the flaw detector break the egg, it should safely dissolve your kidney stone. Uh, there's no reason it shouldn't. Sound waves are sound waves, stones are stones. Some are bigger than others. Some are inside me. How's it going, Team MacGyver? Oh, great. I can't get cable, but I can get the South Pole on high def. <laughs> We're almost ready to start the test. Test? Did Ford test the Ansel? Did Coke test new Coke? Did Shakespeare test his final play, Snow Dogs? I'm guessing you're Dr. House? I was wondering when you might drop by. Did she see me? Oh, yeah. Think Jagger shows up for the sound check? Ready. You might want to just dial it down a smidge. I am not doing this. Your kidney stone theory hinges on me having sex, but I... Let me guess, you're as pure as the driven snow. Only if the snow likes to be on top. But I am here doing psychological research. Generally not a good idea to swap fluids with your subjects. Struvite stones are possible in people who don't have sex. They're certainly possible in people who claim not I've had no UTIs, no pain on urination. You do realize that only one of us is a real doctor. You do realize only one of us has any control over my actions. Dr. Milton, are you able to run a Chem 7? Yes. Well, that'll tell us if her kidney function is declining. If it is, he's right. Shruvai Stone's most likely explanation. If not, she's right. Sorry. I know how you like to avoid avoiding confrontation. While we're waiting for that test to prove me right, start IV cefuroxime. Keep the infection in the stone from wiping out your kidneys. I'll send the Chem 7 results when I'm done. Your Chem 7 results show that your kidney function is declining. It sounds like a kidney stone to me. The decreased function could be from dehydration caused by vomiting due to a gallstone. You agreed that the Chem 7 would decide if it was a struvite stone. I agreed to do the test. The results are up for interpretation. I'll redo the test in an hour when I'm rehydrated. Have you noticed any improvements in starting the cefiroxine? Not really. It pain's about the same. While you're waiting, we should run another test with the she geology equipment. Taking the cefuroxime. She's right-handed. And she would have put the IV in her left arm. Catherine in the arm makes it hard to bend the elbow the way people do when they drink. We have a limited supply of medication, and I'm not about to waste it. Last I checked, you had a limited supply of doctors. Right before I got sick, one of my crew members severed his femoral artery. He needs the cefuroxime. Right. He called this. His need is definitive. Mine is speculative. You're breathing fast. It's because I'm pissed off. Lift up your chin. Show me your windpipe. Ah. 
My chest hurts. It's deviating to the left. His right lung is collapsing. Kate, is anyone there with you? Sean went to the mess. You need to call There's someone. No time. Get a syringe and a needle. Why am I doing Shut that? Shut up and look. She could pass out. She needs to, to reinflate that lung. Okay, now pull out the plunger. I want you to stab yourself in your right side between the second and third rib in the mid clavicular line. By the time we get someone else there, you'll have suffocated. Just do it. Uh. See all the good stuff that happens when you listen to me? Means it's not a kidney stone. Right side pain, vomiting. Now, lung that gets traumatized without any trauma. Sounds odd. Probably is odd. We should discuss this, then call her back. Well, it's fine. I made sure we got the South Pole long distance plan. Your latest kidney function test shows. Well, I know what it shows. I ran it. The more you interrupt, the longer my grandstanding is going to take. Since when do you let patients participate in differentials? Since the patient and her doctor have to be the same person. Your kidney function is still declining. means you have a kidney problem. But not one that needed antibiotics. Makes us equally wrong. No. Makes us both wrong, not equally. You were at least six wronger. They run a PPD before you shipped out? On me and everybody else here, it's not TV. Excuse us a second. Cancer explains her symptoms. A tumor in her lung or kidney that threw a clot to the other organ. And you're worried the tumor might overhear and realize we're onto it. Cancer's a hard diagnosis for patients, even when they're not in the South Pole. We should figure this out. Maybe bring Wilson in. Obviously, you two think I'm in bad shape. Only if you count the tumor house. Probably in your abdomen. You don't have any advanced imaging equipment. You also don't have a surgeon to biopsy it, any stains to use on the slide, or an oncologist to analyze it. Too far away to hold their hand. I have cancer. Possibly. Since the only imaging equipment you have is x-ray, let's start there. X-ray your entire body. I'll upload the images when I'm done. And for you? I can do the physical. There's no reason you need to watch. I can think of at least three reasons. One of them's medical. Where are you? Not in your office. You're not in the hospital. No reason for me to be. I am not. I'm dressing for you in your apartment. You're not in my apartment. You're three quarters of a world away. I promise not to get fresh. I'm not taking off my clothes. One of us has to. Show me your place. Uh, it's got walls, a floor, and in some places, a roof. I am not exposing myself without some reciprocity. It's my apartment. It's not my soul. Living room. Slow down. Huh. Lots of books. I'm betting all medical. Only if you count Jenna Jameson's autobiography as a gynecological text. Fiction is a waste of time. Unless you can laugh at it. I love to laugh. Moving on. Back up. How bad is the insomnia? Let me quantify that. Do you drink two or three scotches before passing out in front of the TV? You are so far off. It's bourbon. No photos anywhere. Family and friends aren't important. Well, you're sick. You had 20 people down the hall, and you've had exactly one visitor. I don't want to panic anyone. You don't like people who hide on that ice cube, so... Stop projecting. You're antisocial, so you assume I'm antisocial? How about if I just get naked and you shut up? If I thought I could get you naked, I would have led with that. You'd rather show me your soul than your leg. Great. You got me all figured out. You gonna try and fix me now? I never said you needed fixing. 